Hi there YouTubers, how are you? Right, okay, so I'm gonna test out uh, Kodi 14.0 uh, I'm gonna try and install it on my Windows machine So first of all, go to the Kodi website Kodi is so proud that they actually made say Oh, Merry Christmas, the holiday, uh, it's right, it was there Okay, great, fantastic I like it. <clears throat> I like the fact that, you know uh, It possibly is, might be the be one of the best apps that we mm -hmm. have Plus the XPMC 13.2. I mean, XPMC 13.2 has actually been a very good friend. And if you still want the XPMC 13.2, you just go into the older releases and you can click here and you can download it. Now, now 14.0 has just been released and they're already thinking 15. God, man, wait! Okay, so let's just see. File on the Windows. So I'm downloading it now. 67 megabytes. information for your information of I've, uh, I've got uh, I, ha I just uninstalled all my other Kodi versions I still got my XPMC 13.2 running uh, installed sorry not running this one is uh, okay next I agree is it full yeah of course it's full uh, where do you want to put it I'm gonna put it into 14.2 Zero. Was it underscore zero? Underscore zero. Or something like that. Next. Next. Oh, it's just me. It's just me. I put like everything, you know, numbered and titled and uh, a bit organized. Uh, a bit of organization phobia there. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. I don't want to remove it. I want a fresh install. So I'm going to click run exit Cody. Let's see what happens now. Come on, Cody. Okay, so Cody, for some reason, you get this type of error when you first uh, uh, install it. So I'm just going to click OK. Apparently, the only way to fix this is to restart. So I'm going to reboot my system. First of all, stop my recording software so I don't damage this recording. And after that, I will. Uh, reboot the system. And when I come back, I will show you how to continue. Okay, people, it is up and running. It took some doing. Thank you, Cody. I think it took a bit of time for it to be safely running. Not sure why. Okay, so it's 14.0, stable version. As they say, and oh yeah, by the way, I uh, forgot to mention, it is, uh, what does it say here? Well, it's supposed to say, it's Helix. Okay. <clears throat> so, welcome to the Helix, apparently. Alright, so first thing first, what do we have here? No add-ons. No music. Not that I do any music anyway. Uh, programs, nothing. Uh, so system, you know, first thing first is you know try to go into file manager and let's add uh, one of my favorite uh, Fusion repository. Right now that I've added the Fusion repository, you can see here. Uh, okay, I'm going to click Home now. Okay, so now I'm going to click on System. 
click on add-ons I'll add the fusion repository in the description of this video just in case you guys want it again but although I have made another video for fusion repository that's why I just kept it quiet I think just move on to see what's going on here so so install from zip fusion start here how was it Let's see if that works Right, I should see a message here at the bottom right hand corner to say that it's uh, installed the config wizard. There we go, config wizard. Okay, config wizard has been installed. Click on programs, config wizard, and now I'm gonna have to run the config wizard. Okay, excellent. Allow it to load up all the images. I mean, you don't need all the images, but you just allow it. Right, depending on your system, uh, if it's a Macintosh or Apple or whatever, then you can, you know, Mac. Windows, Windows, Fire TVs, Fire TVs, Oya, uh, Oya Android, iDevices, Apple devices, uh, that includes, you know, Apple TV, uh, iDevices, you know, okay, let me go down, Magicon, Magic, uh, Magica, Provis, and Linux. Now, um, for devices such as Raspberry Pi, I've been told that you just use the this one here, so the Linux one. Uh, but depending on your Raspberry uh, Raspberry match uh, how it's set up, so I'm gonna click on Windows because that's the one I'm running right now. Click on Windows. Would you like TV add-on to customize your add-on selection? Of course I do. So we're going to allow it to install now. Please wait. So you can see that it's now it's in the filing stage. It's going to, I can see some things that the background has changed. Okay, so it's finished. It's installed. I'm going to let it update most of the images in the background. Just give it to like a minute. Don't touch it. I have to admit, it's not as fast as I hoped it would to be. Yeah, you know, compared to the XPMC 13.2, this is still sluggish, as far as I can see. And well, the logos are loading, taking the time to load up. You know, considering that this one is supposed to be better than the previous one, I don't know why it's sluggish. Let's see, for programs here. Yeah. To be on the safe side, what we need to do is we need to make sure that everything has been set up. So I'm going to ch ch do a check up on the uh, standard settings. Uh, so appearance, no, uh, screensaver. I don't want the dim. I'm going to make, make it none. Uh, video, I want to playback. Okay, playback. Oh, sorry. Playback. Display video as stretch 16.9. Subtitle, I want, uh, well, for myself, I want Arabic subtitle. Okay. Arabic and English. Uh, default services, I'm going to have to install default services. But character set here has to be, you know, a different type of font. Uh, speaking of font, I have to go back to appearance again and change this font to, yeah, that's it, Arial based. So here it is. I change it okay that's it it's changed okay now go into um can't remember now what else I'm, I need to do but yeah all these things I've been set I've set them up in my uh, XBMC setting video so you can see that uh, this is special settings that you have to do okay I can change the view of this to icons or oh, thumb right. Right. So all this has been installed. So what I'm going to need to do is first of all test all this, but uh, 
in order to test first of all let's make sure that all this has been set up correctly so we're gonna have to type in yeah blocked dot prime wire dot pw that's prime wire let's make sure it's, I've typed it in correctly okay one channel prime wire blah 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 do anything I better force an update uh, yes yeah, I say this click on add-ons check for updates chances are there is loads of updates I just need to update and go for them Not sure what's it doing now. No. Usually thirteen point two is finished by now. Oh come on, hurry up! There you go. So it's updating. Bit different style on the updating because it looks like it's taking a bit time. Time that normally it doesn't take actually. Not sure why it's taking that much long time. You can see the currently downloaded ones here. Well, it's very important that because it's actually adding more repositories, these repositories could have more updates inside them, so you better check updates after this is finished as well. this again now remember I'm only doing this on the fusion just the fusion repository and it's you know taking a bit of time it's taking its time and allow it to take its time Okay, so I'm going to test if, uh, well, let us Genesis is working. I just clicked on Avatar. an SD quality one that I've got down got there but uh, it works so let's just go back so, okay Genesis works I'm just gonna do one more thing see if I can change here okay it's not letting me change the background I'm gonna need to upload the background image I do it in front of you guys. Okay. Gonna use 
the image that you, you guys have been seeing recently. So So these are the images that are currently there. I'm gonna go to the XPMC one, which I was using. Okay, copy these. These are not something that you have to do, but I'm doing in front of you so you guys can see that this is how you actually do it for your own, if you wanna put your own logo in there. Okay, that's not the logo that I want. Yeah, that's a good logo. Okay, so I've got my logo there. You can put your own logo if you like. So let's try with Primewire. Now remember, the reason why it's showing me this again because we just updated it using the update all. So this one is 2.5.55. That's not bad. That's actually one of the latest ones. Click on TV shows. Uh, okay, so I must have typed in the wrong URL. Prime wire. Well, in order to make sure that I've typed in correct URL, I'm gonna go into here. Unlocked dot prime wire. Or oh, sorry, it's un it's prime wire to unblocked. I'm doing it wrong, am I? Yep, there it is. So I did it wrong. So okay, while I'm here, I'll just uh, I'll put it in here. I don't need to go outside. Here we go. So it's very important. HTTP colon two four slash primewire the unblocked the PW. There you go. See, this is how you test things. Okay. TV shows. Let's do that again. All right, no idea why I'm getting that, but all right. That's uh, going to get really annoying very quickly. Fantastic, honestly. Oh, God. I'll have to f figure out one of my other primary add-on fix. Not sure if this is a Cody issue or if this is something else. Let's see. So install from zip. Yeah, fusion, sorry. What is TK Norris? Repository TK Norris. Ah, oh, good. Okay, TK Norris repository has been added. Uh, check for update again. See if there's anything else. Doesn't say it. So what I'm going to do is, before I move on any further, I think I better close XPMC and start up. Oh, well, sorry, close Cody and start up again. Okay, so 
God is loading up. Okay, God is loaded up. Let's see if this works now. Most likely still be the same one. I'm just see if I can add any more add-ons. Get add-ons. So I've already added the TK Norris one. I'm just gonna go in here. Video add-ons. One channel. Yeah, this seems to be the right version. There's a launch here. You can actually just launch the application. Yeah, let's try that again. Let's see if that works. Hopefully, hopefully, yeah, there we go, it works without uh, an issue, so it was, it just probably just needed a, uh, a restart of XPMC. You know, the capture ones, the capture messages and the images, they're actually not that bad. Um, they're there to, you know, make sure that there's no hackers or spammers or or people who annoy the site a lot because we've had loads of problems but unfortunately um, it does sometimes annoy us the genuine people that wants to watch this nine hours of this thing oh god all right okay let's just uh, pick something else <laughs> it's got nine hours here on this one Who, who's, who, who's gonna watch nine hours of the? Well, okay, WWE you guys, you guys are nuts. <laughs> right. Not sure why it says zero views, zero views, and I'm gonna watch it. No, I'm not gonna watch it. So I'm gonna watch this one. It's got thirteen or nine views. Okay, so you can see here it is working. I'm gonna move it forward. Hopefully, you will pick it up. At this point, I think it's Cody that's causing a delay. It's uh, probably the source. So I'm gonna stop it. It's not gonna work. The source is bad. Well, I clicked start, but I don't know what's happening here. I'm not uh, quite um, impressed with Cody so far. The, the XPMC seems to do a lot better so far. XPMC version 13.2. So, instead of them trying to fix uh, the next version 15, they should fix Cody 14.1. Uh, yeah, let's, let's just see the guest. Okay, very quick, very quick response. Hey man, really? As I was, sorry, I just clicked stop. Okay, so he is responding. Now, this video is not about a guide for you just to how to install Kodi, so it's about a guide is really just to show you. Cody is safe I'm, and I'm trying to do that so now the next step of course is to do the live TV BVR manager acquired BVR simple client enable configure In fact, I, I, I want to use that. Yeah, let's use let's use that. Uh, I'm not going to use APG. Just want to see if the channels load up. So it looks like the same thing as AMC. 
you need to exit before you can get anything working around here. Since this is the first time, after you enable the IP, uh, you know, uh, simple client, you'll need to. Let me just move this here. You will need to um, restart XPMC to get it working. You go. So rust on it. This is the message that comes up. So I don't think there's any change in that one. Okay, configure. Enable. There you go. Seven thousand four hundred forty-nine. And some of you are gonna say what? No, that's fine. <laughs> Wait for this message to disappear. The first time is going to take a bit of time until it loads something in its database. While it's doing that, I'm going to try Ice Film. Configure. Okay, so I'm going to try this URL, but. Uh, some countries the, the uh, this URL is not going to work, so you're going to have to try the different URL. Remind me later. Yeah, let's do TV shows. Popular. Not sure if this is going to work. If this doesn't work, then we're going to have to add. Yeah, we're going to have to add a URL. So okay, looks like I'm being blocked as well. Okay, ice. Films dot unlocked dot pw. Okay, go. Okay, Let's try that again. Ah, doesn't work. I'll leave it alone. Maybe I typed in the URL incorrectly, but just leave it as that now. She was. Uh, while it's exiting, maybe I should try something else. Try here. Ice films. Yeah, that's the URL. I've just copied it. Gonna load it back. You see, this is the way you test it. I mean, this is the way you make sure that the URL is working. This URL is definitely working. So I just need to make sure that, you know, run Cody again and just. Uh, what about you see this uh, loading time I just clicked on it and it's taking a bit very long time for it to load up I'm not quite convinced as to why that's happening it's okay remind me later settings Okay, so added that. Let's exit and come back into it. After this, I'm gonna have to test the live TV, see if that works. Okay, so now it's working, it's putting up information. Like a season eight. Now, for the people who has got Android boxes, if you have got like on your own wizard, like I've got like a Droid box with uh, uh, Droid uh, box wizard, don't upgrade to Kodi until your Droid box gives it to you or your own provider gives it to you. Uh, the people who made your box. Uh, maybe they will have a, a different way of how to set it up. You know, that might be a very good idea. Okay, so, okay, that one is not working. The link. Let's try this link. It's most likely with a capture. No, that works fine. So, what are you working on these days? I'm studying one. Okay, so that works 100%. Cool. All right, I'm going to 
Live TV, which is no longer called Live TV in the menu here, it's called TV. So I'm going to click TV. Okay. And the great European war. Not exactly fast to load uh, the channels. Or dad can roll heat on chillo. Just changed back actually. By pressing that keys. So let's see if that works. The quality is okay. Uh, it works. It works fine. Okay. So. There's the other feature of live TV that I want to check. So channel manager. Of course, the channel manager is the way to modify how you want to do this. So you can create new channel, create a new group, group management. Yeah. Oh, righty. Oh, you can create pretty much a lot of things here. Okay. So I'll leave as is for now. But uh, I'll leave for you guys to change, make your own changes. Okay. FTV. Yeah, let's try this one. <laughs> That's live TV. It looks going on from film on, which is basically what FTV does. Uh, Move 25 is not working without VPN, which I'm gonna have to install and set up. And I'm gonna have to find out if uh, the VPN works. See if these things here work. So maintenance tool. I'm going to go into general maintenance. I'm going to clear the cache. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I can say pretty much, you know, s you know safely to say that uh, as, as long as you intend to um, accept the little bit of lagging that I'm, I'm detecting then go ahead upgrade but otherwise if you're using xpmc and you're comfortable with it xpmc 13.2 stay with it because i'm i'm not seeing quite a lot of difference in here yet i'm not seeing any benefit yet uh, i'll try to compare some things if i see some benefits with especially with the live tv um because i've been told that uh, this live tv has got uh, a better mpeg decoder so we'll see if this one is uh, is better uh, I'm gonna have to also work on uh, my other simple clients and my other add-ons to see if uh, I can get everything running. All right, thank you very much uh, for watching this video. Comment, share. Um, please don't tell me I was too too low or too too loud too loud or I was too fast or too slow. I was just just trying to install with you guys so I can actually show you that this is how you install. If there's any issues with me, you know, with with the video. Uh, while I'm doing sorry with me while I'm doing the video that was the reason why I did this so I can make sure that you if you guys have uh, any issues then this is how way you fix it that's why I didn't remove any of any any of them from the video I could easily you know just remove a lot of stuff from the video um, once again this is XPMC 14 point, uh, sorry Cody 14.0 this is gonna get very hard to say these days we don't like the name Cody anyway Cody 14.0 and it seems to work fine you guys enjoy and have fun I'll see you later